uh, we're in the uh, midst of the spring, you know, summer season as usual, and we're going to hear on TV, oh, you can't wear sharp pants going in the woods because there's something to worry about ticks. And, and they talk about a disease called Lyme disease. Yes. Um, first of all, Lyme disease is named after a fruit. What does this name come from? <laughs> Um, Lyme disease is a, is a disease that is coming um, after a tick bite or is coming um, secondary to a tick bite. What is a tick? A tick is these little black uh, bugs that are living, you know, in the deers, in the, in the fields or... Um, but you practice in yeah. Brooklyn and I looked around, I don't see is, any deer yes, walking around through you're, Barrow you're Park. Right on that. So this is what happened. Um, this, um, this Lyme disease actually is a small little bacteria that is living inside the tick. And the way that the ticks get this disease is because they normally are fed by a deer. So they get the disease from the deer. They keep it inside them. Wait, wait, and when do they deer have Lyme disease? The deers, they don't have Lyme disease. They are just having this little infection inside their body. So the tick is feeding it's from the deer. It's the way getting deer. even at the hunters probably, huh? No, it's not really true. This is, um, the deers are, let's say, somewhere in so upstate just, New York. So they're, they're just harboring the infection, but they're not affected by it, is that correct? Exactly. Okay, and they're the tick... Is the, the, is the delivery service. Exactly. It? This is the way it works. So, um, unfortunately, upstate New York and the whole area of New York is, uh, is a high, um, it's a hot place for Lyme disease. And the reason for that is because we know that these little bacteria that is living in the deers uh, are present in here, and we know that the ticks are the delivery system in between the deers and ourselves. And normally what is happening is like over the summertime when it's really the, the time where we are all having skin spots, uh, we get these bites uh, from the ticks. And sometimes we can be sick immediately after the tick is biting us, um, but sometimes this is going completely, completely undiagnosed. Well, the word Lyme came yes. not from New York, it came from uh, Connecticut, is this correct? Yes. That's it was correct. first discovered in a town called Lyme, Exactly, and that's, and that's the reason why we still call this condition Lyme disease. Okay, it's many years ago, but now, let's get my head correct in this whole thing. So if a, if a tick, first of all, what does the tick look like? Is it a big tick or a little tick? No, it's a, it's the size is a, it's a very, very mini little black dot. I will say... Uh, a pencil dot? Yes, something like that. Although, after a few days, it can grow because it can, you know, they, can, they can be stick in your, in your skin. And, but initially, you can completely miss that because it's like a pencil dot kind of mark. It's a black little uh, tiny dot in, in the skin. So the first rule is to make sure the tick doesn't get you. Exactly. So you sh if you walk in the woods or near a woody area, when you long take, when pants, you take it, when you, long yes. sleeves, are there any chemicals you can put on so the tick can't bite you? Um, I'm not aware about anything that can prevent for you to get a, a lot of uh, -E -E tick bites. Yes, it's been, it's been recommended sometimes, but we know definitely that kids can get tick bites anyway. So, um, so you should check the kids. I, I will. I will recommend um, every night shower time to look carefully through the skin and make sure that there is no ticks in the skin. And, and, and the tick has to be in your body not for a few minutes. You got to be there for a couple of days. Is that true? Actually, well, sometimes it's not necessarily few days, but at least long enough to make sure that the infection is going into your blood. And then every tick has Lyme disease. No. So no. I, th I heard the ratio is 1 to 200, something like that? Uh, average. Average. But 1 to 200. It's the, the problem with the Lyme is that sometimes you, know, you don't have any manifestations of 
anything, nothing is happening to you in the, in the, in, at the time that the tick is uh, biting you or at the time that you are being exposed to the tick bite. So a few months after the exposure, uh, close to fall time, close to winter time, that's the time where the undiagnosed Lyme is coming to play in the rheumatologist's office. So, in other words, if you get a, a tick bite, you should run the doctor and insist upon the box every time you bit by a tick, is that true? Uh, yeah, we can say that. Yeah, because it seems people, <laughs> oh, I saw the tick was on my skin, I brushed off, I need antibiotics for three weeks. No, that's no. not true. No. That's not true. So when would you consider a tick bite high risk? that you might want to treat with antibiotics, what would be, what would be in your head? For example, if I spend um, a week or a few weeks in upstate New York, right. and I had an episode or fever or um, no, like an unusual, unusual rash, I will definitely be very, be very suspicious but about it. would more that. than just a tick bite, you would want yes. some symptoms, is correct? Exactly. Because you thought three weeks after tick bites, we start worrying, isn't it? Yes, and... There's a certain type of rash so you get? It's a very, very specific rash, although sometimes can present different ways. So but you the have classical to be, one. The classic one is like a target, huge, big target. Um, like a target. Yes, like target. a bow and arrow, a target. Yeah, and it, the the way that we have to uh, describe this is like growing target. It's a very it's a it rounding gets bigger. gets bigger over the time. It's red, it's very red, and it's rounded, and it has, you know, this particular um, way to to behave is start growing over the time. So you get it in the in the back, or you get it in the leg, or you get it in, in any part of your body, it started to grow. And if someone saved a little tick in the skin, and it brought it to lab, and, and in the lab, that doesn't really even help you, does it? Because you don't know if it transferred it. Well, um, sometimes people can verify if the tick was having, uh, was infected or not with Lyme, but it's not really worth it sometimes for you to know. You, you, you may need to take yourself and see what's going on. So you really watch for the symptoms of Lyme disease, which you mentioned that target, obviously yes. arthritis, because that's what yes. the, the hallmark. There is two different things. The rash and the and the fever and some vague symptoms, like flu that symptoms, exactly. That's, that kind of symptoms are happening together and, you know, simultaneously with a tick bite. That will be like one or two weeks into the tick bite. So that will be like summertime kind of symptoms. The, the later uh, symptom that will appear with Lyme disease, and that's like a secondary to a, to a, to a tick bite, is the arthritis. The arthritis needs to be treated aggressively, and the arthritis needs to be treated longer than the symptoms that presents in the beginning. If you treat it not with a you know, real bad case, what would you treat with, and how long would you normally treat with? Uh, we're talking about arthritis? You no, know, so little target, not too much symptoms. So, um, if it's a, an acute Lyme with some rash and flu-like symptoms, I would treat it probably for two weeks with, with amoxicillin. Okay, all the people that seem to use uh, things like... Um, Doxycycline. Yeah, doctors, and something like that. You know, in, in pediatrics, like at least, you know, le less than 10 years or even less than 14, some people say, I will advise them to take amoxicillin. It looks pretty well. Cause the reason yes. we avoid that tetracycline thing is it could stain teeth. And exactly. And so, sometimes even makes a little bit of increased pressure in the head. You know, we, we tend to avoid this antibiotics to kids for the side effect that we have proven that is, that is happening. The first is, you know, the changing colors in the teeth, and these teeth are growing, and they are not still That's mature fine. enough. That's right. And, and on the other hand, we definitely know there are some other uh, more serious effects. So doxycycline for adults or for, you know, at least teenagers. And how and long would you treat that case? Two um, weeks, three weeks? Two weeks. Maybe three. Maybe three weeks. I would say like two weeks sometimes for the initial.